Well, it's another day. I'm up before the sun and we got big things happening today because today is hammer time. Of course, we have previously looked at all of the construction issues. We've looked at digging holes, pouring concrete. I've talked about the rubber stall mat, all of that stuff. But I've had to do a few other things to get ready for the hammer and take out some temporary work that I had done just so the hammer will fit into this opening behind me. And more specifically, what that meant was that I had to take out a section of roof up here because it was too low for the hammer. And I had built that temporarily knowing that I would take it out. So the roof was never finished. It was just a piece of plywood to cover it up for the week or so while I was waiting. And the other thing I've done is I've put a doubled layer of plywood right outside the back door of the shop or the back opening where the hammer will come in. And that's where we will set the hammer and put the rollers and hopefully roll it right through that hole and right up onto this pad. But I really anticipate that all of that should go fairly smoothly. The SAMAC hammer has a solid steel base under it that should roll very nicely on the pipe rollers. And the only difficulty will be getting it off of the, the rollers and onto the rubber mat. And I've got a good assortment of very heavy pry bars and big blocks to use for fulcrums. And I don't think we'll have too much trouble with that. But it will be a little bit of a challenge. So stick with us and hopefully you'll be able to see that. I am going to try to set up these two cameras and just let them run while we move the hammer. We'll see what we catch on those and hopefully you can get enough of the process so that it feels like you were here helping. So it's time for me to head to town and meet Helmet. We'll see you back here in a little while. To deliver. Of course, I'm still not sure what their schedule is. I thought originally it was 9 o'clock and they said, oh, it should still be by 9, 9.30 or 10. <laughs>
Maybe not. It's coming. We're going to see. Yeah. Maybe not. It's coming. We're going to see. Yeah. yeah. So we want to, let's see. We we'll want to point the rolls a little bit up to this side, so that uh, it's turn, kind of moving off. Turn a little bit. Just like make it move parallel. Okay. Or maybe with that pry bar. Slide it over. That's kind of what I was wondering. It's probably better. It's probably better. Oh, you did some precision guesswork here with the sizing. I hope so. I'm going to be real disappointed if I'm a half inch too small. <laughs> this is the only thing I'm worried about. No, I'd say up there. Oh, good. Right there. Is that better? No, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So now what? Now we need to get rollers up from under. Yeah, it's moving. And then the same thing in the middle, or in the, maybe in the middle or in the back. <laughs> yeah. That looks good. Yeah, the holes even line up back yeah. here. Yeah, it's really good. So one of the one of the adjustments is with this valve up here, it's, okay. uh, no, it's uh, the bypass valve or the pressure relief valve. This will um, set how much pressure you have in the upper airways. And if, it, if the pressure goes beyond that, it lets that pressure out uh, towards the exhaust. <coughs> and that's what is responsible for the ram <coughs> coming up when you let the, the foot go of the foot valve. So, um, this, the, re, the right setting is two or three times hitting, the die is hitting each other two or three times before it picks up. So I turn it on. And uh, usually a, a little bit heavier hammer is probably okay. good, so you, you kind of really drive them in. And if this be the lighter hammer, you'll hit it harder and this will mush up, mushroom up a little more. Okay. And they will mushroom up because they're not, uh, I don't not think they're hardened. So right. every once in a while you kind of sand that down. Okay. Yeah. Oh, plenty of room to get it off. Good. Yeah. My other concern is, would we be able to work on it if we needed to? Yeah. And it looks like we can. Well, here it is. It is in the shop. Unfortunately, I can't use it for another 48 hours for the same reason I couldn't use the treadle hammer and the little giant the other day. I'm using epoxied in concrete anchors, which are more than 10 times stronger than the expansion bolt kind of anchors but they take 48 hours for the epoxy to cure. So I'm just going to sit here and stare at it for 48 hours. Okay, maybe I won't stare at it for 48 hours, but Friday morning I will be ready to put this hammer to work and see what it can do. The installation process went pretty darn smooth. Hopefully we got some of that on camera. I noticed after I was all done and went to collect the cameras, 
that one of them apparently never got turned on. So We went to the rental company first thing this morning and said, well, how about if we tow the forklift out there? And they said, no, it's a 40,000 pound forklift because they didn't have the little one that I had ordered available. So we were getting an upgrade for no extra charge, but it was a beast of a forklift and we could not bring it in the way I'd planned, but it went across country and with that telescoping boom, we were able to just extend it all the way from the ditch I parked at right up to the back of the shop. It worked beautifully, even though it was a little bit hard to maneuver around here because the thing's eight feet wide. But nevertheless, it got the job done. The driver from the rental company waited at the end of the road. Their truck will not fit up here on our property, so I had to go down there, drive it up the road to, to get it here. It only took us a little over half an hour to get it off of Helmut's truck and on the ground behind the shop. Then we took the forklift back, and then we slowly worked the hammer into the shop. And like I say, it really went pretty smooth doing it on rollers. The only trouble we had was that the rubber mat kind of squished out of the way and we had to kind of lever up one end and then the other and try and get the rubber mat back under it. But after a little bit of perseverance, we did succeed. So hopefully we will have another video tomorrow and the next day while we're waiting for these anchors to dry. But then on Friday, I think I will do a more thorough video about the new hammer, and what this hammer will do, show you around the hammer and how it works a little bit. It's really a much more sophisticated piece of equipment than anything I've had in here before. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Love it if you hit that subscribe button. Stick around, watch a few of the other videos, share the videos with your friends, and as always, try to make time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, or simply make some improvements in your workspace, but do it safely, wear your safety glasses, and we'll see you for the next one.